All right, so let's talk about a parameter called the Poisson ratio. So intuitively, no, if I, or if we, if we pull and apply stress in the 3-3 three, three direction uh, here, we are going to have a positive strain in the 3-3, three, three, but we know that in the 2-2 two, two and the 1-1 one, one direction, that we're going to actually contract, right? So we're going to elongate, but this material is going to shrink in this direction here. So we should expect that strain in the 2-2 two, two and strain in the 1-1 one, one will both be negative. Um, but how do we actually encapsulate this? Um, well, we do so with a parameter called the Poisson's ratio. And the Poisson's ratio is essentially looking at negative my lateral strain over the axial extension. So in this example, it'd be minus the strain in the 2-2 two, two or the 1-1 one, one over the strain in the 3-3. Three, three. So this Poisson value will always typically be, except for very, very rare materials, it will be positive because the strain of the 2-2 two, two is negative times negative, strain of the 3-3 is positive, so it will be positive. Um, and typically we know it'll be less than one and actually less than 0.5 because cork will have a value of 0.5, but less than one because this, that contraction here is gonna be small. The magnitude of this strain is gonna be less than this strain here because again, it's kind of working transverse or acting transversely. So there are some values that are pretty common. So if I am looking at a metal, my Poisson ratio will be about 0.3. For polymers or biomaterials or anything else, probably 0.4 and for ceramics, 0.2. There we go. Actually, 0.5 for rubber, excuse me. Cork, cellular material, or ceramics are going to be 0.2. Fantastic. So next time, we are going to actually start to develop how do we write equations uh, concerning complex stress states. Um, so see you then. Basically, never use Young's, uh, uh, the, basically, Young's modulus equation. Like, th this is the most dangerous equation in material science. Don't, we're not going to use this ever in this course. So we'll develop our system next time. All right, see you then.